I hope you are keeping well. Thank you for your interest in amazing animals. Will you please spare a few seconds to subscribe? Tetrodontidae is a family of primarily marine and estuarine fish. The family includes many familiar species variously called pufferfish, puffers, balloonfish, blowfish, blowies, bubblefish, globefish, swellfish, toadfish, toadies, honey toads, sugar toads, and sea squab. They are similar to porcupines due to the needles that puff out when danger or threats are near. The scientific name refers to the four large teeth, fused into an upper and lower plate, which are used for crushing the hard shells of crustaceans and mollusks, their natural prey. Pufferfish are known to have toxic effects on other organisms when their needles across their body touch, poke, or puncture another's skin. In certain species, the internal organs, such as the liver, and sometimes the skin, contain tetrodotoxin and are highly toxic to most animals when eaten, nevertheless, the meat of some species is considered a delicacy in Japan, Korea, and China. Other pufferfish species with non-toxic flesh, such as the northern puffer, spheroids maculatus, of Chesapeake Bay, are considered a delicacy elsewhere. They are typically small to medium in size, although a few species can reach lengths greater than 100 centimeters. They are most diverse in the tropics, relatively uncommon in the temperate zone, and completely absent from cold waters. The puffer's unique and distinctive natural defenses help compensate for its slow locomotion. It moves by combining pectoral, dorsal, anal, and caudal fin motions. This makes it highly maneuverable, but very slow, so a comparatively easy predation target. Its tail fin is mainly used as a rudder, but it can be used for a sudden evasive burst of speed that shows none of the care and precision of its usual movements. The puffer's excellent eyesight, combined with this speed burst, is the first and most important defense against predators. The pufferfish's secondary defense mechanism, used if successfully pursued, is to fill its extremely elastic stomach with water until it is much larger and almost spherical in shape. Even if they are not visible when the puffer is not inflated, all puffers have pointed spines, so a hungry predator may suddenly find itself facing an unpalatable, pointy ball rather than a slow, easy meal. Predators that do not heed this warning may die from choking, and predators that do manage to swallow the puffer may find their stomachs full of tetrodotoxin, making puffers an unpleasant, possibly lethal, choice of prey. Not all puffers are necessarily poisonous, the flesh of the northern puffer is not toxic, and it is considered a delicacy in North America. Takifugu oblongus, for example, is a fugu puffer that is not poisonous, and toxin level varies widely even in fish that are. A puffer's neurotoxin is not necessarily as toxic to other animals as it is to humans, and puffers are eaten routinely by some species of fish, such as lizardfish and sharks. Puffers are able to move their eyes independently, and many species can change the color or intensity of their patterns in response to environmental changes. In these respects, they are somewhat similar to the terrestrial chameleon. Although most puffers are drab, many have bright colors and distinctive markings, and make no attempt to hide from predators. This is likely an example of honestly signaled aposematism. Pufferfish diets can vary depending on their environment. Traditionally, their diet consists mostly of algae and small invertebrates. They can survive on a completely vegetarian diet if their environment is lacking resources but prefer an omnivorous food selection. Larger species of pufferfish are able to use their beak-like front teeth to break open clams, mussels, and other shellfish. Some species of pufferfish have also been known to enact various hunting techniques ranging from ambush to open water hunting. I hope you liked this video, and will look forward to see you soon.